One of the biggest determiners of your success with cold pitching is going to be your consistency, your follow-up, and your persistence. I'm so excited to be showing you a way to automate that process, to stay so organized, to remain consistent, and this will just make that persistence so methodical and easy. So what I'm going to show you today is how to use a free project management software to keep track of your cold pitches, to have your goals front and center. It's seriously revolutionary. And if the word project management software sounds super overwhelming and boring and weird, yes, I get it. I cringe at spreadsheets. I hate anything to do with cells. I am just such a Google Docs, Word Doc person. But this has given me so much confidence, so much clarity, being able to see my goals front and center, having something to log into that just makes everything so easy because it tells me what I need to do every day. And it just becomes, like I said, methodical. This is so important and I can't stress it enough that your cold pitching has to be consistent. And let's be real for a moment, okay? This could be the best course in the world. You could take another person's course that has all the most valuable, accurate information, but unless you stay consistent with those little actions day by day, this will not work. Cold pitching is a consistent process. It's even something you're gonna do at least a little bit once you have a full client roster and you're making a full-time income. The whole concept of avoiding the feast and famine cycle as a freelancer is to stay consistent cold pitching. So are you going to have to always send a high volume of cold pitching once you already have your paying clients? No, thank God. The high volume only comes in the beginning. However, as you continue to work and your schedule gets really full, this project management software, it's not only going to help you with the initial cold pitches and staying on top, it's going to make sure that you don't go through that feast and famine cycle because you'll always know those tiny little daily habits you need to do to keep business consistent, to keep your freelance client roster full, and to never have to deal with not knowing where your income is coming next. That's how powerful what I'm going to show you right here is. So if you don't already have Asana, simply Google Asana and download it, create your login information, and you're going to have two options, whether you could use it on an app, meaning you download it yourself, or you can use it just through your internet browser. So the first thing you want to do is go to Asana, create an account, it's free, and then you'll see this interface right here once you're downloaded and logged in. Now, I wish I had a completely blank Asana board to show you so you can see, you know, click by click how to create this, but I'm just going to show you the basic things you can do. Do not get overwhelmed when you see the fact that I already have stuff in my Asana board. Yours will look different because you're probably starting from scratch, but the first thing you're going to do is scroll up here, click this little add button and add something called a team. And for the team, we'll just put freelance work. Okay. All right. How about we do freelance business is better. So whatever you want to name your team is totally up to you. You're going to add yourself as a member. So when you set up your account with your email address, upload your photo, choose yourself. And the reason it gives you members is, is eventually Asana wants you to be outsourcing and growing your business so you can have multiple team members. But we don't need to worry about that for now because we are solopreneurs, we're freelancers. So just choose yourself. This is the my tasks section. Now, no matter where you go in Asana, you are going to have the option to always come back up here to my task, but we just created a team. So ignore all my other teams up here. What I just created right now is right here, the freelance business team. And what you're going to want to do next is create a project. So today I'm going to show you three projects that you need to create. Number one is your client pipeline. Number two is your client work. And number three 
is a list of companies that you're going to be reaching out to for your cold pitches. So first, we're gonna start with your client outreach list. This is basically just a list of your ideal clients. So in the course, I have a whole module, whole lesson on creating a list of your ideal companies to reach out to. This is easier than just searching for companies to reach out to one by one. Before, I was recommending that you do this in an Excel spreadsheet. We no longer want to be in Excel spreadsheets. We want to use project management software to stay super organized. And I just only wish that I had done this sooner in my business versus relying on Google Docs and Google Sheets to track all this stuff because this is so much more automated and intuitive. So again, we are creating a list of your ideal clients that you want to cold pitch. We're going to create this list as a project. So your freelance business is a team. Now we're creating a project underneath it. We'll go to blank project. The project name is client, let's see, ideal client outreach list. This one we're gonna keep as a list. Everything's fine here, leave it, press continue press go to project. So here is where, where we're going to create our list. So as soon as you go here, you'll see you just click, we'll create a task. So let's say I want to reach out to the Honest Brand by Jessica Alba Makeup. Let's say my, my niche is makeup. I start creating a list and this is in the modules of how to go online, do that research process, look at these lists of companies that look like they would be an ideal prospect. Even as you're on Instagram, let's say you see someone, you're like, I wanna pitch them. You can bring it right over here into this ideal client outreach list. And let me show you how we can make this even easier. Now you're gonna go to LinkedIn and let's say we want to do the research up front, right? So let's go to The Honest Company by Jessica Alba. And let's say I want to pitch their email marketing manager. Okay, there's Jordan Conrad, here's her website. Let's copy and paste her link to her profile. And then we can go right here over to details, go to the description and literally just copy and paste the link. Now, when I wanna go searching for clients to pitch, I literally go back here click on her profile, boom, it brings me right here. So now I can just message her. It's so easy and it makes everything so simplified if you can just do the work on the front end. Now, let's say you want to create kind of like sectioned lists because you don't want just this gigantic list. You can do add section, makeup brand. Maybe you wanna do like clean beauty brands. So you wanna break up who it is you're reaching out to, you can just create these nice little sections. So here is where you will keep your ideal client outreach list. Let's talk about a client pipeline. So all a pipeline is, is basically a series of contacts that you make and they will slide across the board and then a certain percentage of those contacts that you made will result in a paying client. So I'm familiar with this concept from being in sales. We would enter all of our information on our prospects, our deals into something called a CRM, Customer Relationship Management Software. Software, and basically out of all of the people we spoke to, a certain percentage of those people would result in a closed deal or a paying client. And what's really cool is that with Asana, you can do that for your freelance business. And why a pipeline is so important is not just so you can visually see who you've spoken to and follow up with them, it also lets you know how close you are to gaining these paying clients and knowing kind of where you stand financially, right? If you just completed three projects and you're like, oh crap, what do I do next? You can say, oh, I'm looking at my pipeline, I see that I'm just about to close a deal or 
create, you know, bring on a client with these three people. So I know money will be coming my way soon. So it gives you that peace of mind. I'm going to show you how to set up a client pipeline. Now, this is what a client pipeline board looks like. So pretty much you're going to have these sections and each time you talk to somebody, let's say the honest brand did respond to me. I would add them to my main contact section. And let's say benefit beauty is there too. Now, let's say I'm making these contacts. So what I mean by making contact is basically I got a response. We're not doing anything yet, but they said, yeah, sure, send me your portfolio or something like that. Then I would move this over to conversation because now we're actually having a conversation. And usually what that means is that I'm scheduling a call with them at this point. So now I know that I'm in talks with every company that's in this list. Now let's say Benefit Beauty wants to do a trial project and they said, send me an invoice and your paperwork. Okay, cool. Now I'm moving this card over to the onboarding and paperwork section. Once they actually assign me a brief and I'm like really working with them and we've actually come to the agreement, yes, we're gonna try this, we're gonna move it over to working. Now I have working separated into two different cards. One is for retainer work. The other one is for one-off projects. For me, this is really helpful because my goal is to always have retainer work. That gives me that consistent month-to-month -month income. And then I have a whole other you know, bandwidth available for one-off projects where somebody needs me to write an email or a web page. Stuff that's project-by-project -project basis. So let me show you how to create the client pipeline. Go on over here back to the freelance business section under teams now you're going to create a project again again you're going to do create blank project this is going to be a board this time right so client pipeline continue go to project It might take a second. There we go. Now we have a blank screen again. So you're going to follow the exact, if you want, you can do whatever you want to do, but I definitely suggest these categories. Made contact. Next one is conversation and so on. Now the third project that you're going to create is something called client work and this is where you're going to start to keep track of the work you're actually doing for clients to make sure that you are reaching deadlines this was the first actual project management task that i started off with before i knew about asana and any of this you know automation software right i was just using trello to keep track of my deadlines and making sure i was getting the work over to clients on time as soon as they would assign me work i would put it into the project management software put a date on it and know where i was in the process of how close i was to completing it so i want to show you how to create that board and what that looks like now you're going to create this board the exact way I just showed you with the pipeline. So instead of creating it in list form, instead of creating that project as a list, you're going to create it as a board. Very simple, but you can always toggle back and forth between those views. So every board also has a list form, but it's just easier to visualize certain projects in this view meaning board view meaning cards that slide from left to right to know you have to let you know how close you are to finishing something this is my freelance client work board as soon as somebody assigns me work it goes into this section now i have one to the left that's just 
documents and tasks, right? So this is just a bank. I keep my rates here. I probably have a cold pitch template in there. I kind of just ignore this. This is really what comes into play. As soon as somebody assigns me something, it goes here and I see a deadline. So you can use the calendar view to set these deadlines. Now, as I do this work, the cards move from left to right. So now if I do this project, it's gonna go to outline. Okay, I'm done outlining, I move on to other projects for the day. Now I'm at a first draft. So as you can see, I see the projects and where I'm at in those projects based on where they are. And then there's nothing more satisfying than doing the outline first draft edits, going through all of that throughout the week. And then finally, once I hit submit and email the client the work, I get to drag this over to the done section and I'm done. Like it, it, there's so much satisfaction that comes from moving cards into the done section. I know it sounds nerdy, but trust me, it will give you like the biggest sense of relief.